Southern California has produced a lot of great high school quarterbacks over the years, and this season is no different. There are several layers to Santa Margarita Catholic quarterback K.J. Costello. To some, he's just a big-time recruit with a bunch of stars next to his name. But being a blue-chip prospect is just one part of who he is. The physical traits are easy to see. Six foot four, 220 pounds, and a powerful arm that threw for over 3,100 yards in 2014. He's a big kid, you know, he's a Ben Roethlisberger type of kid. Andrew Luck, kind of a player uh, as far as the physical part of it. You know, he's six four and a half, two eighteen. 218. Uh, he can really spin the ball. And uh, so we're, we're blessed to have him at the, at the quarterback position at Santa Margarita. But it's the things that aren't obvious that make him an elite prospect. The work ethic and film study. I believe a lot of it has to do with physical attributes, but to me, I feel like where I separate myself is uh, in the classroom studying film. We've really taken that, that side of the game to a different level. God gave me incredible talents, you know, the height and a little bit of arm strength. But I feel like the other side of it's really kind of what separates me from the rest of the pack. KJ is the ultimate player from a coach's viewpoint. Uh, he's one of those guys that just studies the game. He came in uh, after his sophomore year and he really wanted to improve. You know, improving his stats, but also improving on, on being a team leader. And I think that's one of the things that we, he really stands out now is that our, really, our team leader, our ambassador for our, our Santa Margarita program. He's so positive with the kids and the coaching staff. It's, uh, he's a pleasure to coach. The best guys are the ones with the most extreme focus. Coaches in the past really kind of brought that out in me. You know, the physical side goes so far, but, you know, the focus on the little things is really what separates a lot of us. While scouts love the size and the arm, his teammates like him because he keeps them loose by having fun, like when he tries trick shots after practice. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're out here working, you know, four or five hours a day, and uh, you know, I feel like the only way as a team and as a staff, we get through just having a little fun while we're doing it. So this game's supposed to be fun, and that's really what keeps me going and really what uh, you know makes me want to come out to practice every day. I mean, to me, practice isn't a pain. I like that as a chance to get better and have fun with, uh, you know, brothers I never had. Beyond the physical specimen, the hard worker, and the fun-loving leader, there's still another important layer to K.J. Costello, the student. He carries a 4.2 GPA, and he works just as hard in the classroom as he does in the weight room. Yeah, we're really proud of that. He spends half the time, uh, you know, making sure his grades are what they need to be. Uh, he'll do what it needs to take to uh, maintain his GPA. If it's stand up to one or two to study for a test, he'll do that. He'll do what it takes to, you know, keep those grades in the right uh, position. The academic side is, you know, just as competitive as, you know, the sports side. Football only goes so long. You know, I wish I could play until I was 100 years old, but reality is you make it to the NFL, most of the guys last two, three years is the average. That really kind of hit on me sophomore year, junior year, where I was like, you know, I really need to have a backup plan if, if what I really love to do eventually, you know, comes to an end. So that's why I take the academic side so serious. For college, KJ wanted that perfect balance, a school that can help him succeed on the field, but also build that strong backup plan for when football is done. He found the right fit at Stanford. I think the most important is uh, the academics, you know, because we've talked about football quite a bit. Uh, you know, the, the chances of playing in the NFL are, are, are not that large, and if you do get there, uh, the years that you play there aren't forever. He's always thought about after those years. He based his decision a lot on the schools that he looked at based on the education he's going to get so he can do something business-wise after, you know, his football career. When you peel back all the layers, there's plenty to like about K.J. Costello. He works hard, has fun, and is setting himself up well for life after football. But make no mistake, he wants to keep playing for as long as he possibly can. I'd be selling myself short if my dream wasn't to play in the NFL. You know, I've been looking up to Aaron Rodgers. I've been looking up to Tom Brady for years now. Ever since I was six, seven years old playing Pop Warner, you know, just dreaming that one day I'd get a chance. Being able to play in college, you know, the opportunity presenting itself is unbelievable and it really hasn't hit me yet. So, you know, I feel like just grinding day in and day out, eventually I might be able to reach that dream. I really don't want to stop until I get there.